Sorry, I got a little carry away there, but um, that's good. You two, welcome back to another sneaky review. Sneak on P360. You already saw the little sniffing action going on in the uh, in the beginning of the video, so you probably know what the shoe is about already. Uh, before getting into the shoe, I'm gonna show you guys what's on feet real quick. So once again, if you follow my Instagram, which is Kenny V Win, or my brother. J J Y A Y J Z. You would know what we have done to the Last Mountain White Edition. Um, it's just a little custom, custom stuff going on. Um, you got your S O F 360 right there. Stand for Sneak On Feet 360. And then you got the little L uh, in the in the heel tab in the heel. Symbolize Legend of Aesthetics our secondary hobby which is working out and then you got an X stand for band the 45 going on because we got 23 over here as well as a smiley face so yeah at first I was gonna just break it down and you know um, letting it fade on its own but I guess I'll do that to the black pairs which we will looking forward to pick up but we'll see and um, this right here is not something that we planned for. It just came out of the blue. My brother was searching online and then he found a dealer for it, you know. Uh, we didn't buy it, like we said, we didn't buy it for retail, nor did we buy it for resale rate price. All we did was just trade a shoe plus a little bit of cash right on top. But it's very minimal comparing to the resale value, which is 400 bucks and up. Um, to how much I cannot say it's just something that I would like to keep to myself but the shoe is authentic as you can see okay size 9 I feel like wearing a 9 half a size bigger on the retro one is recommended um, but if you know your true size fits then well, just whatever works um, retail 140 you got your little tag right there it says 139.99 from shoe palace um, you see the color it says right here is black, varsity red, and white. Now, just a little bit of history. You got your Retro One box. A little bit of history about the shoe. First release in 1985. Just real quick, we got a little stamp right there to prove that the shoe is legit. Nike swoosh. That's that. Just a little history about the shoe. The shoe is first released in 1985. Um, it was, you know, released in the same colorway, black and red, or AKA bread, B-R-E-D, stand for black and red, or what you like to call it, AKA the band version. The reason why it's banned was because the colorway was not allowed to be worn by Michael Jordan by the NBA. Perhaps it's too bright, it's too, you know, um, popping. It just does not match the guidelines so that uh, later on, they released the next uh, Retro One, which is the uh, Retro One Chicago. But now he wore it anyways and ended up paying fee for every time he wore the shoe on court. So that's how crazy it is, you know. Um, but yeah, with all that aside, this shoe is, to me, is it must be one of the uh, top 10 Air Jordan must get kind of thing. It went beyond just a simple basketball shoe, okay, for high fees, for uh, poser <laughs> collectors not to mention any of that you know for any of it could work for anybody actors you know, singer anyone could rock it simple shoe or you know just a grail for for someone but yeah it comes with extra red laces you got your little bag right there no branding on there okay so now let's just do a 360 view of the shoe by itself first we got front view of the shoe right side of the right shoe back to the heel Notice there's no Jumpman logo on there because that's how it is back in the days, the very original pairs. Remember the Air Jordan basketball with the wings? Okay, so it's a very simple shoe. I'll make it quick so we can get it right onto the on feet. Nice fine grain leather. A little bit softer. It feels almost that this is the same tumble material. So when you press on them, you can see all that, that wrinkle, meaning the quality. Hence the color, it looks very, very um, dull right now. But you gotta wear them, you gotta break them in. 
that will look way better when you wear them. Especially this black. This black looks like a fine grain, a little bit matted feel to it, but once you wear them in, it's going to get a little bit shinier. So you got your white missile, okay, and then your dark red, dark varsity red. The sole is supposed to be darker like this. If it's lighter, then, it, it, you know, it is most likely fake. It has to be dark red. And then towards this back tab right here, this piece is supposed to not be big at all. And the shape of the whole shoe is very narrow and small not bulky like the fake ones out there. Uh, red Nike swoosh, black side panel, uh, black mesh nylon material, pretty much same thing as my red Lance Mountain that I'm wearing, so just a side-by-side -side comparison. Go ahead and ignore all the white paint because once we remove everything, it's going to look exactly like this, except for the black laces. Um, we're looking at the inside of the shoe. There, there you go again, men's size 9. You got your little sticker right there, hence another thing to prove that the shoe is authentic. You got your size tag, size 9. Okay. And then your Varsity Red Nike Air branding. Black sock liner, black insole. And that's it. I'll probably be rocking them with the black laces. I'm going to do an on feed with my APC New Standard just like always. But right after that, I'll probably try my um, Petit Standard. I haven't wear that for a while so they're not break, broken in but we'll see if it looks good I'll keep it if not then just a new standard uh, maybe a little bit with, with the new carrier that thing barely fits me now so yeah what's good YouTube we're back to show you guys the shoe on feet 360 with my APC new standard we got front view of the shoe very very dope and clean right side of the right shoe you got your net red Nike swoosh everything black on black in front and that crazy varsity red toe box Back to the heel of it. Got your red back panel. All the way down to the neck. And then you can wear them like this too. You know, some people they wear them like this, they roll it up all the way. It's all up to you. It's all about personal preference. With me, just whatever you know works for my day. Front view. Alright, like I promised, I'm gonna wear them with my APC um, petite standard, so I'll be right back. What's good YouTube, I'm back to show you guys my bread with, on feet with my APC Petit Standard. So as you can see, um, this jeans I don't wear a lot so we don't see that fading. But we got a little bit leg opening right here. But the reason why it's tight is because I've been working on my legs more than, you know, um, uh, you know, rather than skipping them. So here it is, we got taper bottom, okay. So they look way thinner compared to my new standard. I'm going to leave them like that. The length is 32 and then I'm going to... Double cuff them on my right. You got your little selvage thing going on right there too. Selvage. So yeah, front view of the shoe. This is for those cats that like to wear, you know, a little bit uh, tighter skinny jeans, stuff like that. Or those that are not super skinny, but yeah, you get the idea of it. So that's it for this video. I'm currently wearing my new cure, but I feel like it's not much of the you know difference. If you compare them real quick to um, the APC Petit standard, it's just tighter. I feel like this is the tightest fit. This is my very first pair, by the way, worn straight for a year without washing. It's just they don't fit no more. Like I try sitting down, it's so uncomfortable on my legs. You know, but um, yeah, you get the idea. Uh, look at how broken in they are. I just need to wash them, but. I don't think I'll ever fit back into them anymore. Just standing, I barely fit into them, but sitting down is a, it's a you know, hard a chore to, to wear this. So yeah, thanks again for watching. Make sure you guys rate, comment, and subscribe. And remember on my last video, I would like to thank you guys for listening to me, for liking the video. Because when you like the video, it shows that you are showing support for the channel. Because, you know, like I said, a lot of people could generate views, but then liking the video is very is more important than just just checking it out and you know passing by so yeah drop a comment if you care as well thanks for watching once again rate comment subscribe i'll see you soon